In this episode of FAQ Express, we'd like to briefly cover how to troubleshoot your wireless DMX signal. If you have recently purchased one of our popular wireless DMX products, such as our Wi-Flex wireless DMX system, or any of our amazing new Wi-Fi series of lighting fixtures, such as our Wi-Fi Bar QA5, Wi-Fi Bar RGBA, Wi-Fi D6 branch, Wi-Fi Bar QA5, and QA5WH. Wi-Fi RGB W8C controller or our Wi-Fi transceiver, the first thing you need to know is that the signal is oftentimes being shared with several other devices within the wireless frequency range, so there may be potential interference. The performance of these products are dependent on your environment. Use these quick tips to maximize your lighting potential. Max distance is 500 feet with direct line of sight. Create a clear path by avoiding obstacles in between the transmitter and receiver. Keep in mind, metal walls are more likely to block signals. Transmitter placement. Don't place the transmitter on the ground. The higher, the better. This will help with direct line of sight. Avoid interference with correct antenna positioning. The antenna must be pointing straight up on both the transmitter and receiver. Placing them at a 90 degree angle will cause them to lose communication. Our transmitters and receivers are stocked with a 3 dB antenna. Static discharge can damage transmitters and or receivers. Touching the antenna with static electricity will fry the LNA or the low noise amplifier. Take care when positioning the antenna. And lastly, interference can be caused by internet Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, and microwaves. Follow these quick tips and you'll get great performance out of your American DJ wireless DMX products. Thanks for watching. If you need any further assistance with your American DJ wireless DMX products, you can always call our toll-free customer support hotline Monday through Friday during normal business hours.